What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I am going to be bringing you another World of Warcraft gold farm. Now, before I go ahead and get into the gist of the video, I'd just like if at the end of it you like, comment, and or subscribe, and also make sure you hit the notification button in the near the subscribe button below. It'll be on screen for you so you know what it looks like. Just so you guys get notified whenever I upload a new video. And uh, if you do comment hashtag notification squad and you are on the notification squad, I will favorite your comment and all that good stuff. So today uh, our farm is going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to be farming for two things specifically. Um, first things first, I'm just going to tell you the base mat that we're going to be farming for. Which is, if I can spell, primal fire. So, oh, oh my gosh. Primal, there we go, okay, oh my gosh, cannot find it, okay, whatever, well, you know what Primal Fire looks like, and uh, it's basically a farm in Zangra Marsh, and we're just going to be killing fire elementals because they drop tons of this stuff, also, we're going to be farming plans for the Oath Keeper, which some of you might actually know, plans for the Oath Keeper's Oh, that's why. There we go. Okay, so, Primal Fire, right there. As you can see, it goes for quite a bit, uh, especially on my server right now. It's literally like 600 apiece. Quite good uh, unit to farm. Um, it doesn't sell as well as some of the other Primals, but it does sell. And uh, also, we're going to be farming these plans for the Oath, if I can spell it keepers okay oh my gosh it's because I put an L in there wait I think I just can't spell fudge go ahead make fun of me down below okay there we go oh my gosh that was such a struggle so we're going to be farming plants for the Oath Keeper's home, and uh, as you can see, it's quite a cool transmog right there, but look at this price right there. Um, on other servers, it can go for about 100,000 gold. On mine, it is insanely high, and uh, this is generally quite um, a wanted transmog item, especially if you're going for any green kind of mog uh, whatsoever, and uh, it actually happens to sell quite well. So today, uh, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to cut the video, and I'm going to see you at the farming location, and I'm going to tell you everything you guys need to know about the farm, what you should bring, all that good stuff. Actually, including what you should bring. Um, before you even head to this farm in the first place, make sure you pick up some bear tartar, as that always um, helps out any farm you do. Like, just, just from now on, if you're going to go farm gold, always bring bear tartar just in case in your inventory, because chances are you're probably going to end up needing it. So what's going to happen is I'm going to cut the video, and uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll see you at the farm. Alright, everybody, we're back, and uh, as you can see, we are at a different location, and also there is a mob in front of me. So, uh, just so you know, there is uh, a little bit of competition for this spot, as it's been farmed repeatedly over and over, but the things we're going to be killing are the Raging Fire Slaw. And uh, these fire elementals spawn uh, randomly throughout this entire area, and they are a bit spread out. So, basically what I recommend you guys do is, once you get here, you pop some bear tartar, obviously, because that's going to speed up your farming drastically. Um, if you are on a popular server, there may or may not be people here farming uh, already. As you can see, this guy, as he's doing right there, and uh, he's probably going to kill these two. Uh, I just talked to him about the... about letting me record a video real quick so I don't bother him but that's what you do is you really want to kill these fire elementals because these elementals are the ones that um, drop all the gear and actually have a chance of dropping the uh, other plans basically for the helm that I showed you in the beginning of the video so they do have a chance to drop them although it is not quite common there is a chance now they mainly spawn in this area right here that's all kind of burnt down. So if you are going to stick to one area in general, you're going to want to stick here. Um, you can farm uh, the, these mobs too. There is a bunch of them around here. Um, 
that's obviously up to you depending on what kind of primal uh, you want uh, to farm but it does drop off of these fire elementals at spawn now like I said if you are on a lower pop server this is going to be way easier for you because you're not gonna have as much competition I myself I am on a high pop server right now and I only saw one guy here but I've seen times when there could be about you know five or six and uh, the respawn time on these mobs is not the greatest but it's also not the worst um, back in the day um, we used to have server hop and that made this farm much easier now we kind of have to wait for them to respawn but it is worth it uh just so you know the helm pattern drop is pretty rng based like it's gonna be um i want to say it's gonna be kind of difficult to get your hands on it but if you do that is a huge payday you saw what it was going for on my server almost a million gold and um if you're actually able to get this to drop off of one of the mobs you are going to be rich on your server, most likely, unless your server is one of those weird uh, volatile price servers where just everything is changing constantly. But, um, so yeah, that's really it. Also, there are some that spawn over here. Uh, you can kill the Wind Ripper if you really want to. Um, not really sure that he drops anything of use anyways. And go over here. And yeah, so basically all the fire elementals just spawn in this area right here. Obviously, you're going to want a high mobility class. That's why I always recommend uh, Druid. Druid. Whatever, make fun of me. But, obviously, they're the easiest to get these kills with. You can kill these, like I said, here, because they do, they do drop some uh, motes of air and stuff like that. So, really, all in all, this is a good farm to just kind of diversify uh, your auction house uh, quickly. Um, you're able to get a bunch of new things on the auction house quite quickly and uh, you should be able to sell most of them off uh, very fast too because as you know the primals do sell very well. Obviously I have a little competition here so I'm not really getting the respawn rate on these super high and also they kind of don't render in um, till you're quite close to them for some odd reason. I'm not really sure why that is. I've ne kind of never seen that with a mob. But, um, yeah, so that that's really only a only couple weird things that you have to worry about uh, while you're at this farm. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You really just come here and uh, you kill stuff. As you can see, that's <laughs> really all you need to do. Um, yeah, so that is going to be it for this video. I don't really have anything else to show you guys. Um, if you think of any video ideas or anything that you think would sound interesting uh, in a future video for me that I could <clears throat> prepare for you guys I might actually take your advice and if I do obviously I will give you credit in the description and all that good stuff um, also don't forget to like comment and subscribe because it really helps me out more than you guys know it like you guys are the reason my channel is the way it is and if we can keep building it up uh, it make me really happy first of all but also it would be quite the uh the achievement also if i was able to hit five or even 10k maybe in the future obviously you don't really expect to be there and never really think i will get there but i think with your guys's help it just might be possible and uh, i thank you guys a lot for what you have helped me achieve throughout this entire uh experience basically on youtube um, yeah, also check the link in the description below because we have cool products and stuff like that if you want to start your own YouTube channel or just interested in computer parts or anything in general, always check the link in the description because I have stuff you that's useful for you down there. Um, that's really all I have for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see every one of you beautiful people in the next one.